Call of Duty in space. Are you guys fucking kidding me right now? What's up, YouTube? It's your Uncle Spearfield7. Uh, I sound a little sick. I don't know if I can make it through this full commentary, but I just wanted to uh, share this gameplay with y'all today. Uh, it's Black Ops 1 on the PS3 system. Uh, I just, oh god, I feel horrible. This is a really bad idea to make a video in this state, but whatever. My head feels literally like it's being ice-picked to death. But, um, playing a little BO1. Oop, get him, first blood. Uh, playing a little BO1. I've, you know, small confession, I've never played this game before. Uh, I really love BO2. BO2 is my bae. I think I spent like 40 some days game played all together. So I wanted to try this out uh, while it's probably still alive. I can't believe that there were like 75,000 players when I got on. And I played most of my BO2 on the Wii U. And you were lucky if maybe 3,000 people were on. Uh, and this is like, you know, six months after the game came out. So I was a little shocked that this game came out in 2010. Uh, Treyarch developed it, and uh, yeah, that the fact that there were 75,000 active players online six years after the game's release is pretty amazing, honestly. Um, so I'm gonna get a little flag defense here, or try to staying on the outside of the map when I don't know the maps to a game. That's kind of my strategy, and then I just kind of like look at the lay of the land where the spawns are. And then go from there. But uh, I've been having a lot of fun with BO1. This is actually my very first domination match. It's probably like my second match altogether. The first match was like a TDM game that had like a connection drop. So I thought that wasn't very interesting. So this is my first full game uh, on the game. Uh, I notice you have to play a little bit more passively. You know, you got to play a little more carefully. Which is kind of cool. It's kind of a nice little change of pace from Advanced Warfare and uh, BO3 where everybody's hopping around everywhere. Uh, this just really brought back, you know, nostalgia for like Call of Duty as I used to remember it. I really played a lot of MW3 the first time I owned a PlayStation 3 and uh, had a lot of fun. And I love boots on the ground. I kind of wish uh, that the next Call of Duty was this way. But uh, I've, I've heard, you know, a lot of credible sources say that the next Call of Duty is in space. And I can't believe I'm fucking saying that. It actually, it physically hurts me to say that the next Call of Duty is going to be in space. It's going to be full on sci-fi. And the sources that have given this information are credible sources. I think the guy leaked Advanced Warfare or Ghost, one or the other. Uh, back in the day, so he's got buddies in the industry, got buddies at, at Activision that can kind of explain to him some of the secrets about what's coming out in the next game. But, you know, logically, I just don't know how it works. I don't know how you can fucking play an entire uh, shooting match where you're shooting bullets and stuff. Uh, in space, so I can definitely see a kill streak, you know, where you like it, it's like an anti-gravity or like a gravity simulator and then like you know you call it in and then everybody's floating around and then everybody's eating your bullets while they're floating around and then you die anyways <laughs> it's gonna be great guys it's gonna be great start your pre-orders now uh, <laughs> and start saving up two hundred and fifty dollars for the inevitable DLC that you're gonna have to gamble to try to get man like Call of Duty just get I'm really getting sick of it uh, BO1, this is actually like a really fun game, and I can see myself playing quite a bit of this, and I'll be uploading, you know, more stuff when, uh, I get more gameplays, but, um, I just don't, like, just to kind of piggyback on what I posted last week, I just don't know what's going on with the series, man. Um, I feel like maybe it was a horrible, horrible, shitty idea to give them three years to come up with ideas for games, because, you know, it's like, you know, and... I'm an artist, I'm like a filmmaker, and I, I understand the, um, the, uh, the impulse to get things right, you know, to do, you know, what you want to do and make sure it comes out and your vision is fully realized and, and all that good stuff, 
but you know we give these people three years to develop these games and at this point i'm worried that they're just overthinking it it's like the beauty of call of duty is that it's an arcade shooter that there's there's instant gratification you get a kill you feel really good about it you get seven in a row you feel really good about it and it's that grind to, to sort of outdo yourself and then always be pushing to another level um that's been the real main appeal in the game and um I'm just afraid that, you know, like they developed this space Call of Duty three years ago. Um, just like BO3 started three years ago. So when you think about it, when you look at it, they were, they they all thought, you know, oh, the community's going to love this. The advanced movements, the new mechanics. And it turns out people were like, you know what? This is kind of crazy. This is kind of schizophrenic and weird. I mean, of course, we all adjusted to it. And I thought Advanced Warfare was fun, fun enough. I just had a lot of connection issues for the entire year of playing it, which becomes frustrating after a while. This game is actually a lot of fun, and I miss the boots on the ground. I think that, you know, there are some bullshit things like Last Stand where, you know, you shoot somebody and then they pull out a pistol and they can still kill you even though you got awarded the kill. But overall, the score streaks are really satisfying. The play style is a little bit slower, but I like that. That was a total bullshit kill, by the way. I was, I was definitely behind that corner. But you can't really complain. I'm sure like we're all on two bars. This is probably a lobby hosted in Russia or Pakistan or or uh, Tasmania. You know, I have no clue where the server is on this one. But anyways. This is a nice little victory. I'm going to skip ahead to the end. I'm really not feeling well. I've had to stop this recording about six times to fucking cough my lungs out. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to work on feeling better and I'm going to have some more BO1 stuff and more thoughts about Call of Duty in general uh, coming up very shortly. But if you did like the video, please let me know. And um, until next time, this is your Uncle Spearfield7. See you later.